What's happening, everybody? Your host, AMF1534, here. Let's play some more Super Mario Galaxy 2. And we are almost done with World 2. Kind of came up on us pretty quick, huh? Hopefully we can get through today. My capture card is being a little bit less than generous to me. Um, I don't know why, it just seems to want to cut out a little bit. So hopefully it'll allow me to get through an episode without, you know, being a bitch and whatnot. It's actually about the third or fourth take I've had to do with this today, so I'm hoping that maybe we're going to get it to cooperate. So, anyways, we are in Bowser's Lava Lair, and I hate these pole stars. They make very awkward noises. Kind of like, meow. I'd rather it not do that. It's not that big of a deal, really. It's just, I'd, you know, I'd rather not deal with it. They could have, they had a library of millions of other noises they could have choose, uh, they could have chose from, but they took that one. And I completely missed that. That's just great. I'm not gonna go back for it, because I don't need it. Oh, 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 shit. I didn't get them all. Whatever. Um, anyways, how are you guys doing? Because I am doing outstanding today. Um, by the way, for those of you wondering if my, uh, my coins and my star bit count had changed since the beginning of this, or well, it did, because, like I said, I am on, like, my third or fourth take of this since I started, because things are happening that I don't appreciate. So hopefully we'll do it. Hopefully we'll just, uh, grind, we'll grind time one out today. Hey, yo. So, I had an excellent, excellent lunch today. I had KFC for lunch, but I will tell you one thing, it totally kicked my ass. And by that I mean, like, the food grew a foot and kicked me in the asshole because I ate that like almost four hours ago and I'm still feeling the effects of that. It's so damn horrible. I probably should have gone with the five piece instead of the ten, and I probably should have gone with the individual size mashed potatoes and gravy instead of the family size. That was a vital, vital mistake. But you live, you learn, you get loves, and that's what happens. Oh shit. I hate those guys. Good old dry bones. Now, I don't know if that comet metal is still up there. Okay, it is. I didn't know if it was going to show it or not since I've already gotten it today. Let's see if we can get this in an effective manner. We should be able to. Gotcha! Haha! <laughs> see you later, asshole! Now, I hate this part. It's kind of cool though at the same time. You just gotta butt ram this thing right into that. And then yee-haw, you're open. whoop de freaking do And then you get sucked in with the tractor beam thing. Ugh. Think about what playing this game on acid or other assorted drugs like quaaludes and things would be like. I would be flipping balls right now. Oh my god, I just got tractor beamed up in there. Holy shit. <laughs> And then I would have all sorts of alien conspiracy theories to follow it. I don't like this area. I don't. I don't I don't like anything in this game that involves following platforms. I don't like it. And if you guys you guys know, have if you've watched like my Super Mario World LP, you know that I hate anything that involves me having to follow a set path and not creating my own. Why? Does that mean like I'm an individualist? Maybe. Careful, the statues! What about the snow? The statues, they're alive! Oh, shit. Yeah, they're really alive. J-E-L-L-O, it's alive! Luckily, they're not really alive to the point where it's anything detrimental to my health. Get out of here! Yeah! he yeah. Oh, the mice! Oh, gee. Alright. We're almost to the other thingamajig here. This one you gotta do a few more times, though, and you have to kind of think about it a little bit. Because there are some geometric angles that come into this one. Luckily, if you have any idea what you're doing, this should not be hard whatsoever. But I can't say that about everybody. Some people struggle. Like that. See? Every time I talk shit, something bad happens. There we go. There she blows. I put some laxative in her yams. Uh, I love Hey Arnold, I really do. 
Especially Grandpa, with quotes like that. Huh? Not to worry, Arnold. I put laxative in her yams. Man, Bowser is pretty damn big. Look at you, running around like a little flea on a puny planetoid. No, what isn't puny? My massive new power. The power to flatten you like a space pancake. I have nothing to say. Because I'm Mario. I never have anything to say. Time to fight! It's about to get real. And believe me, we're not going to be having this fight just once. This fight happens rather often. Oh! Yeah! Come on, Mario, get your damn shit together. Uh... I almost forgot how this fight works. There's no way I've forgotten how this fight works. Oh yeah, that's right. This fight's easy as hell. I just need to get in the right position. Yeah, there we go. Hey, there we go. Let's go collect the old bounty here. The quicker, the quilted quicker picker upper bounty. Come on, baby. Yes. It's all about placement. If you can just. No way. Was it really that easy? Please tell me it wasn't that easy. No, he's just pissed. He's very pissed, actually. Now things are gonna get worse. Okay, I was gonna say, there's no way that fight's over in two hits. He's fucking Bowser, for God's sakes. And he can fly. He doesn't need that weird space pod with the smiley face on it like he did in the Super Nintendo version to fly around anymore. He can, he can do things with extreme prejudice now. Shit. Damn it. Damn it, Mario, you and your faulty things. Oh, boy. Fireworks! Get out of the way! Drop the hammer right there. Perfect. Yes. You couldn't have made that any easier for me by putting that right there. Okay. Oh, God, I hate the fire. I always forget that he does it, even though he does that every single time before he does the thingamajig. Don't ask what the thingamajig is, I'm just saying it. Oh, shit. I got myself in a bad spot. Damn it. Never get the one that's next to something. You'll have to pardon my lack of gaming skills that have just suddenly come out of nowhere today. Normally, I usually get this fight done with absolute ease. But, I'm struggling today for some odd reason. Yes! Right in the back. Kidney shot. That's, I'll take that. Thank you. God, that would hurt. I'm so mad! Roar! Now I remember why you're my arch nemesis. You're so annoyingly hard to squish. Good thing I win anyway. Ha! While we've been playing, my master plan has moved to the next phase. Tough luck, Mario. <coughs> See you later, man. I have harnessed the ability to phase in and out of existence when I feel like. But I did leave a grand star for you. Alright, so we've got that under control, so let's go take it! And just like that, World 3 is complete. And we have more things to do. Yes, the portal to the next world did open up. Uh, excuse me. Alright, so, there's that. Uh, man, I got some, some, serious, some serious burpage going on right now. So, with that I say, pardon me. And now, let's head off. 
How the hell can Mario even steer this thing? He can't even, he's not even half as tall as the steering wheel. Which, I think that, now that just thinking of that, I think there needs to be like a, a height requirement for people that drive. Because I've seen some people that, I, I swear I have no idea how they drive. Because they can't even like see over the steering wheel. I feel like they're just kind of, you know, playing it by ear or whatever. Because it, it's some pretty dangerous shit to look at. Let's see, what is this? Tall Trunk Galaxy or Cloudy Court? Actually, I like Cloudy Court. We'll do that one first. It's got the windmill. I like windmills. I don't know why. I just like windmills. Head in the clouds. Let's, let's take care of this. Yeah, this one's fun. And, if I'm not mistaken, doing the, uh... Oh, yeah. Doing the, uh, special thing for this is a real pain in the dick. So we need to get coins. Coins is what they ask. And so we must get them. Come on, baby. Flip over. There you go. There's a coin. I hate tedious things like coins. Star bits aren't a big deal to me, because they're just they're not hard to get. Because you find them everywhere. But not coins. Coins always have to be the bitch. They always have to be the bitch that never calls. Yes. And we'll get this bad boy here. And then I can think there's something else hanging around up here somewhere. Or I'm just very sadly mistaken and there's nothing up there. And we can't adjust the camera, that's something that also does not work very well with me. I don't know why I did that either. I'm at the wrong area. No wonder why I can't figure out what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. I need every single one of those. And off we go. Come on, baby, land on him, land on him. Yes! I've got that sharpshooter aim going on right now. Which reminds me of a story about a sharpshooter, by the way. Um, my brother and I, when we were kids, we used to, like, we used to wrestle all the time, like, WWF-style wrestling, and I wasn't a very big kid, like, my brother, he's, like, you know, four and a half years older than me, but he outweighed me by a solid, solid, you know, 65, 100 pounds, whatever, and we were wrestling at my grandma's house once, and it's not gonna be very easy to explain this, I guess, but... For those of you that know what a sharpshooter is, uh, he put me in one of those on my grandma's bed, and he forgot to like let go of like he forgot to let go of my legs because pretty much what it is they get you in a figure four where he like stands in the middle of your legs and he like pulls them up and flips you over on your stomach and then pulls back on your legs, which applies a lot of pressure on your back. And pretty much all that came out of that was. You know, he uh, ended up not letting, or he slipped off the bed, but he didn't let go of my legs, so he pulled my legs up, like, literally behind my head, which in turn hurt incredibly bad. Like, I thought that he broke my back because my back made the loudest cracking noise ever. 30, ooh, I got 30 right on the, right on the button. It's time to transform! Holy shit! So full. Yeah, I know how you, I know how you feel, man. Being full and everything. I was like unable to perform at work for a solid hour or so that today. All right, let's head this way. We'll have just enough time to do this before time expires. And I hate this this spot. God, I hate it so much. This is not not a good not a good time. Gotta get these things here, and as soon as you grab one, it's all going to hell. You have to start having some very, very good accuracy with your jumps, because they will gain on you rather quickly. Oh, shit. Shit, shit. No. Stay away. Stay away. Shit. No. Stay away from me. I don't have the blood you crave. Oh, my God. If I can just get over there, we're gonna be all clear. Yes! <laughs> oh, that was getting real chippy. I felt less and less confident about my jumps at that point. 
Luckily, it paid off. Usually, I have a lot more trouble with that for some reason. Oh! For that exact reason! God damn it! And I had just gotten the star, too. God damn it. Alright, we'll try that again. Yeah, don't fall in. I'll try not to. I got an idea. We're gonna go the long way first. That'll actually make this a lot easier. I never really thought about that. I always do this star last. I don't know why. I should always do that one not last. Because by doing it last, that makes it last and really far away from everything. Come on, baby! Yeah, we're actually gonna get this done a lot easier now. I should have thought about that a long time ago. Oh shit, what am I doing? I missed it! There we go. God. I literally just jumped right past that. Yeah, see, now we're right next to it. That makes it way easier. I am an absolute moron for having not seen that before. What are we gonna do to him, Harry? Exactly what he did to us. I'm gonna burn his face with a blowtorch. <laughs> or no, I'm gonna burn his head with a blowtorch. I'm gonna smash his face with an iron. Shove a nail through his foot. Or we're gonna be cannibals and eat all of his fingers off, one at a time, apparently. Alright, so, we got ourselves a healthy amount of a couple of stars and we unlocked another galaxy back there. Which, if I'm not mistaken, the name of that place is Freezy Flake. And it's, it's, it's a fun place to be. We got a new friend there. I don't know what's in that pipe, and I don't really want to know yet. So, when we come back on the next episode of Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2, we're going to go explore maybe what's in that pipe that just showed up. And uh, we'll go back to... The galaxy we're just in, I don't even remember what the name of it was anymore. I think it was, it was a cloud, cloud court, cloudy court, I don't know. Anyways, this is your host, AMF1534, saying thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.